Hi loves, I hope you're well. Thanks for joining me. If you're new, welcome to my channel. My name is Charlotte. Don't forget to go and subscribe down in the description box below. Today I have a styling video and I'm going to be styling midi skirts. I focus this on like a festival vibe, but you can obviously style your midi skirt anywhere like this for spring and summer. I just thought I would approach it this way because I was going to do a festival styling video and I thought I could just do the generic shorts on the top like I've got on now and I thought what do I want to wear to the festival this year? I would want to wear a midi skirt because I'm absolutely obsessed with them and I kind of prefer them to shorter styles at the moment. So I thought a few of you might think, hmm, how would I style a midi skirt for a festival? And I know a lot of you love my um, satin slip skirts that I featured in previous videos, so I'll leave them down below. But we have a real of clothes here behind me and three of my favourite midi skirts at the moment I thought I would style up for three different festival looks. So let's just get into the styling. For the first look I have a skirt from the Caroline Flack and River Island collaboration. Why I love this is because I'm not normally one for colour and I really love the pop of green in this. It's got a lovely gradient to it and it has this very nice slit at the side of the leg so it's nice and breathable and we've got some bottom detail. and. It's animal print, but animal print with an edge. And as it's festival season, you kind of want to add a little bit of colour into your wardrobe. So at festivals, I'll wear things that I wouldn't always wear day to day. And I just thought that proper colour would be really nice and perfect for holiday as well. So for this first look, so I've got light keeps changing by the way, and it's echoing I'm in the kitchen because I'm painting upstairs, which I shall reveal very soon. I thought I would go with kind of a rock chick vibe. So I've styled it with just a ribbed body. I think this is again River Island or possibly Top Shop. And then as an outer layer, I've gone for a sleeveless biker jacket because I just think biker jackets are so cool. Anyway, this is really oversized. I'm watching Sons of Anarchy at the moment and I'm absolutely obsessed. So I'm going to be wearing this a lot for spring and summer. So this is from All Saints. I picked it up at Cheshire Oaks from a discount store. But I do know that real leather, if real leather is your thing obviously, um, sleeveless jackets are really hard to come back. So I'd say maybe check out some thrift stores. Um, check out All Saints, check out the sales. I think ASOS always have them, or of course, you can get vegan leather. Um, Nasty Girl is probably a really good place to look. I'll leave some linked in the description bar below. And to finish it off, put a bit festival look without a bum bag. So I've gone for my Machino gold detailed bum bag. And the reason I thought I would go for gold detailing is because it's all in the accessories. And I'll show you some glasses that I would pair for this look along with the shoes. So obviously, we're going for biker chic look with number one. I'm just bending down to get to my accessories. <laughs> so we have of course the Converse. Converse high tops, absolutely love these. You'll see that mine are quite dirty anyway as it is. They're just perfect for a festival look. Sorry that was the postman. Um, I was being sidetracked though again. Converse, yeah they're the perfect festival shoe. They're really comfortable. I think the dirtier they get the more cool they look. So would not be a festival looks video without a pair of these. And then to complete the look, I have some summer glasses. Again, Ray-Bans instant, like cool rock chick style vibes. I have the hexagonal ones. I did have the round ones, which I absolutely love, the Ray-Ban round. Really classic style on a satin one. I broke them. <laughs> so I've got these ones instead, but I love the black with the gold detailing. Of course, that's picked up perfectly with the gold detailing in the bum bag as well. So that is outfit number one. So for the second outfit, I will be styling a black midi skirt. This one is from Miss Selfridge and has a faux satin style vibe. And I'll be pairing it with a waist belt to just cinch you in a little bit, accentuate that waist, always kind of give you a lovely hourglass figure. So I also have a belt, which is from Miss Selfridge as well, but I'll be leaving everything linked in the description box below. For this look, I thought I would go a little bit girly and I thought I would add in a little bit of pink. So I have this really cute, cropped top. I have it in green as well, um, which I wore in my Barbados holiday outfits video. I'll leave that linked if you missed it on my blog post in the description box. I absolutely love this. I'm not a massive pink person, so this is the perfect pink. I prefer like a muted dusky pink, which is what we have here. Absolutely beautiful. To go with the girly cute vibes, I've gone for a mini backpack. I just think they're so cute when they're on your back, or you can wear them across your body. And of course, a backpack is really good for a festival because you can kind of, well, maybe you won't wear it in the you don't want people stealing things off you, but you can hold it like that and you can have it underneath you. So everything is nice and secure, hopefully. Um, I think really backpacks and bum bags are 
the best kind of festival bags. I know some festivals actually don't let you take in a bag bigger than an A4 piece of paper, which is why I said a mini bag is obviously the perfect choice for you. Um, for outerwear, it's a little bit chilly later on. With this, I've just thrown over a leather jacket because I'm obsessed with my leather jackets at the moment. This one again is from All Saints. Again, I got for a discount from Cheshire Oaks. I got it oversized for kind of just like a like a relaxed look, but you could pair any white jacket with this, although I suppose white really isn't the best colour for festivals, but you can wipe it down afterwards. For shoes with this look, I've gone for my Balenciaga Triple S, but really I just wanted to style it with a pair of chunky trainers, and these are the ones that I have in my wardrobe at the moment. Obviously you don't have to spend this much on a pair of trainers, but if you would like to know more about the Balenciaga Triple S, or you would like to know the best high street alternative for these trainers, and some affordable shoes that would be perfect for festivals, I will leave it linked on the screen and also down in the description box below. And then to keep on the girly theme and tie in the pink, I have a gorgeous pair of statement sunglasses, like festivals are perfect for sunglasses. For me, this is a statement pair. They're from Miu Miu and they are this gorgeous pink so I just thought they would work perfectly with the pink of the outfit and kind of tie that girly vibe all together. Then for my last look I have this next skirt that if you watch my videos you will have seen it before, it's very popular with you guys. It's from Next, it's super affordable, so soft. I know you might be thinking that is not the colour for a festival but if you aren't as clumsy as me and anyway, it cleans really well. I have coffee stains on this before and it's just washed off like a dream. So absolutely love this skirt. But of course they do lots of different colours on the website. So I will just leave the general midi skirts page linked for next. And I would say that this is like my minimal basics kind of look. It's like everyday girl next door, denim, white t-shirt, basics. So I started with a white t-shirt. This is from Valkyrie. Again, you might have seen it in one of my hauls, I'll leave that linked. I love to tie a t-shirt to a knot because I think it just makes it really super comfortable. And if I look uncomfortable, there is builder who's staring at me over there, probably wondering what I'm doing. I need to get used to this for the next few months. But as for wearing this look, like I've just said, I have gone for a denim jacket. Nothing is more classic than a Levi's denim trumpet jacket. That's what I have here. I've had this for about four years now. It literally comes out every summer and spring. I get so much wear out of it and I love kind of whites and denims together, I think they're really nice. And we have another bum bag, which is the Senrev Ari belt bag, which you might have seen in my belt bag styling video, so I'll leave that linked below and on the screen if I can as well. I think there's a maximum you can link, and I've mentioned about 25 videos so far. Um, but yeah, as always, if there's any styling videos you do want to see from me, let me know in the comments below, and I can completely do that. And then I'm just going to show you the two final pieces that finish off Look number three, sticking on a midi skirts and trainers kind of vibe. I have enough pair of trainers. These are super gars or super gar, whatever you want to call them. I find them ridiculously comfortable. I have four pairs, with this being my fourth pair. I haven't worn them yet, which is why they look super white. But they are the leather pair, so they'll be completely easy to wipe down after the festival. And they have a little bit of those straps on them as well. And I just think they're really cute. They're kind of a little bit like a tennis shoe. Um, and yeah, they just work really well with the look, so finishing off that minimal vibe. And then for glasses, I've gone for an oversized pair from Chloe. I really love this pair, but I tend to find they don't work with everything. Normally they're a little bit more boho, but I think they look good for this look, I don't know. But you guys think, let me know in the comments below. But they are super oversized, round sunnies, that have a double rim, and they're literally like a tinted lens as well, so they make everything look really nice, you look really tanned in them as well, which is probably why I like them. But I just thought they worked really nicely with that look, and it just adds a little bit of a statement because it is quite a basic look. So that's been my three ways to style a mini skirt for the festival season, but like I said, it can be done for the whole of summer, anything from barbecues to going out shopping to whatever the hell you fancy. So I'd love to know what's been your favourite look down in the comments below or how you would style a mini skirt. Everything will be linked in the description box. If you'd like to see more from me, please don't forget to hit that subscribe button. I would love for you to join me. And if you've got any questions, any style videos you want to see, anything at all, let me know and I can definitely do that for you guys. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.